Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man. It's 7 11 in the morning, and we're on the Natchez Trace heading to Nashville. Welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage Channel, the channel for everything Honda Goldwing. Motor vlogs, DIY tips, hacks, and those accessory installation and review videos. If you're passionate about the Honda Goldwing or motorcycling in general, you're in the right place. And I'd love it if you would click that little subscribe button down below so that uh, YouTube can notify you when we come out with new videos. Now you have to click the little bell icon for that to happen. So we uh, just left the Holiday Inn in Tupelo. Uh, kind of interesting, our reservation was for the Candlewood Suites, which is right next door. It's actually owned by the same company, by IHG. And uh, we checked into Candle uh, Candlewood, and we're kind of surprised that there was no uh, uh, kind of a porta cache or covering over the uh, out front where you check in, because there were some pretty heavy thunderstorms predicted for last night, and I wanted to park my bike underneath the cover. So, what we ended up doing is I walked just across the parking lot to the Holiday Inn, which did have a covered uh, little driveway. And I asked them if we moved our reservation over there, would I be able to park the bike underneath? And they said yes. So we went back to Candlewood, canceled our reservation, and they were gracious enough not to charge me, or they at least they said they weren't going to charge me. I haven't looked at my credit card yet. And we just moved our stuff over to Holiday Inn. And this is a, a pretty large Holiday Inn. I even had the full restaurant like the old days. I haven't stayed in a Holiday Inn in a long time. But this is like an old school Holiday Inn. Even though it had been recently, uh, looks like it had been recently renovated, the rooms looked pretty modern and new. So anyway, we're on our way to Nashville. And uh, it's supposed to, we're scheduled right now for a 1.45 arrival, but that's assuming we don't make any other stops, and we probably will make a couple of stops along the way. But right now, I thought we'd just uh, give you an opportunity to enjoy some of the scenery of the Natchez Trace. <music> been on the trace just over an hour and this has turned out so far to be probably the nicest day we've had on this trip uh, we were trying to beat a major thunderstorm that was heading our way it was kind of moving from uh, west to east and supposed to be kind of crossing our path but we were going to try to outrun it so far we've been pretty successful and even though it's cloudy and you don't see the blue skies is really cool and nice and comfortable it's about 77 degrees it's just perfect weather perfect riding weather no wind and uh, we're just really enjoying it one of the things I love about the Natchez Trace is there's almost no traffic as you can see occasionally we'll get a car but but you know pretty much it's like having a private road it's 50 mile an hour speed limit so you can't you know really go anywhere in a hurry 
but it's uh, for a nice relaxing ride it's like they just built this for motorcycles I mean, it's just perfect and surprisingly we haven't seen any other uh, motorcycles on the trace today I guess everybody came up a day or two ahead of us because uh, the hotel we stayed at they said there were a lot of uh, you know bikes in there this week coming to uh, coming to Wingding so anyway we're just enjoying ourselves and enjoying this beautiful scenery and this relaxing road and we got our XM radio set to the 60s station so we're listening to 60s and 70s music and this is uh, this is what having a motorcycle is all about kind of a scenic overlook here on the Natchez Trace. We just take a stop every now and then, drink some water, kind of walk around, uh, stretch our legs a little bit. But we're just having a really great day today on the Natchez Trace. It's really beautiful, isn't it? So peaceful. Except for that color. But yeah, I mean, you can stand out here and you don't hear anything except some birds maybe. Beautiful. And just a car every or four minutes it might go by maybe so everybody passes us yeah we're not in any hurry but there are some locals you can tell they use this as you know a way to get to work or whatever so they'll go pretty fast but uh, we're just enjoying the 50 mile an hour scenic road so let's have a drink of water and get back on the road the Natchez Trace. We're here in Nashville at the Loveless Cafe, the famous Loveless Cafe, and we're just getting ready to go in and have an early lunch and uh, see what this is all about. 